Welcome to another episode of Sozen Gadget Reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of portable power banks. These are both from Aoki, the Basics Pro series. This is the 10,000 milliamp version. This is the 20,000 milliamp version. They both come with 18 watt PD or Power Delivery 3.0 and Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 compatibility. They have a kickstand. Each of them has a kickstand and they have a, uh, I guess it's a resting shelf for your phone and they both have wireless charging which is one of the big reasons that I bought them as I don't have a charging power bank with wireless charging. These came out pretty recently. Last time I was traveling, I didn't have such an option to have wireless charging. I think this is really cool. 20,000 milliamps obviously is a huge power bank. 10,000 milliamps, pretty standard. But I'd also like one of these to be able to charge my Surface Lap uh, 3, my Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. If they could charge that, that would be the creme de la creme of chargers for me especially with that wireless i know if i'm charging my laptop three i mean that's all i'll be able to do but i doubt that i would get into that situation where i'd need to charge both things at the same time uh, so i got a, a user manual it's pretty hefty comes in multiple languages english german french spanish italian chinese it's got all the specifications in here i'm pretty excited about this device i can tell you right now Wireless charging indicator, power button. Power button is how you turn on wireless charging on the surface for wireless charging. If you don't press that power button, you're not gonna have wireless charging after a few minutes. It's gonna shut itself down. So just keep that in mind. If you purchase one of these, wireless charging needs to be turned on. I think it shuts off after 15 seconds. Information about how you can uh, know what is going on. I think if you put a piece of metal up on that wireless charging device, it's going to give you some kind of flashing symbol over here, it blinks orange and red to tell you that it's on supported device. And you got all kinds of modes here. Qi wireless charging, power delivery 3.0, 37 watt hours, that's well within the TSA travel limits of 100, 100 watt hours is the TSA travel limit in the United States. Our USB-C output, PD 3.0, 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Wireless output, 5, 7.5, or 10 watts. That is freaking awesome. That's going to charge my Pixel 4 at high speed. And the maximum power output is 18 watts. I don't know if that's enough to charge a Surface Laptop 3, but certainly enough to charge a laptop, uh, excuse me, a tablet. Talks about what PD is, Universal Multi-Charging Standard that dynamically negotiates power output over a USB Type-C connection to safely and efficiently recharge a wide range of devices. All right, so that's gonna give us all we need to know about how to use this charger. This is a good looking charger. This thing looks like a phone to me. It's like phone sized. Not much bigger than my Pixel 4 XL. You're gonna like this. I've got a stand here to put my phone on when I'm wirelessly charging. And I've got a kickstand in the back that tells me to pull it out until it clicks in place. So that is gonna give me a fantastic, man, I can even watch movies or something like that, right? right let's see what else is in here. I've got the uh, obligatory USB-C charging cable. Okay, so not too much else otherwise in the packaging. I don't need that cable for now. Let's shut this down and get it out of our way. Keep this handy. Okay, make this quick. Let's turn on the device. Let's try the Soundpeats case. Now the Soundpeats case immediately starts charging. I can show you that. Well, that's great, that's charging. I'm happy, that's super easy. It's saying that it's charging wirelessly. So this 10 watt wireless charger is gonna charge this in 43 minutes. Let's try charging the Soundpeats H1 using this device. What we're trying to do here is make sure that we don't exceed the capabilities of the device. So let's plug this in, let's plug. I think that the correct way to do this is to plug this in here. Device is on. This is on. We are connected. We are not charging. Hello. Hello. What happened here? There we 
we go. Power on. I don't know why that turned off so fast. But five volts, 0.4 amps. This is well within the sound peats limit. The sound peats right here on the back says, we charge that at input five volts, one amp maximum. So this is well within those limits. We should be good. Okay. Sound Pete's H1, safe to charge with the 10,000 milliamp version. The only question we have left is whether this device will charge the, lap, the Surface Laptop 3. Let's make some room. Tight little area here. Now I know if we're going to do this, we're not going to want this in the way. We're just going to want to have the laptop tell us, are you charging or not? We're going to try to charge it via the PD port. Okay, PC isn't charging. PC isn't charging. So we're not going to get away with using the USB-C cable, which I think makes sense, right? The PD port is where we're going to get our 18 watts of PD or power delivery. And that, I'm hoping, is enough to charge the Surface Laptop 3. And if that's the case, we are more than golden. Let's see what it says. Let's make sure this is on. This is on. This is on. And it is clearly not charging. Wow. That is clearly not charging. So 10,000 watt model, slim, it's a nice looking device, but it is not enough power to charge the Surface Laptop 3. Let's get that out of our way for now. We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. Let's try the 20,000 watt model. Again, same manual, same information. Ooh. Now what is different here is this is gonna be 22.5 maximum power output. USB-C output is still looking like the same specification, so I'm not sure. And wireless output is 10 watts, that's excellent. But this does have a low current charging mode. Charge at a low current constantly. So you can turn this whole device on so it won't use more than, well, 60 milliamps, such as a Bluetooth headset, fitness band, or smartwatch. And that'll uh, turn that on. You activate it by the four buttons. Four power, press the power button for four seconds and wait for the last digit of the LED display to change dynamically. So this is a little bit of a different device than the 10,000 watt model. This again, well, 24 month product warranty. Thank you very much. That is excellent. So if you are buying one of these, hey, you know what? Give me a 24 month warranty. That is fantastic. Do they give me a PD charging cable or just a regular USB-C cable? That is a regular USB-C cable, so they're not expecting me to charge this. Is this an input-output PD? This does say that this PD port is input-output, so I'm a little bit surprised that we can't uh, charge it. They didn't give us a PD cable, but that's a fine. I have a zillion of them, right? <laughs> ah, technology. Tell me. Tell me I don't have enough cables to charge every single device in the house two times over. I've only, I've only tested like 50 pairs of wireless earbuds. I'm pretty sure I've got some spare chargers. All right, so on the 20,000 model, let's just see 20,000. So how much bigger is this? I mean, it is a little bit longer, like minuscule longer. Nah, it's the same. It's the same width. It's the same height, it's the depth, it's thicker. So it's definitely thicker. We've got a different display when we power this on instead of the four lights. To tell us what's going on, we have, we have an LED display. So I got my PD input output, I got my output for normal USB-C. Let's try the same test, make sure that this will not overcharge our headphones. I'm not even gonna put it into the special low current charging mode. Let's just try it. Yeah, that's fine. That specification right there. So that's five volts, 
5.4 amps. That's well within what Soundpeats recommends right on the back. Again, five volts, one amp. So we're good. We can charge a headphone with this without being worried. Can we do the same with the PD cable? Let's put the PD cable in here. Put the PD cable onto this device. Oh, that is not correct. <laughs> Whoops. Try that again. Okay, this shuts off pretty fast. Why does this shut off so fast? That is, I guess that's a good sign that it shuts off quickly. And again, that is well within the limits that are set by Soundpeats for charging this device. Excellent. That wireless charging immediately. Hey, hey, hey. Charging wirelessly, 39 minutes to full charge. So that's similar to the other. Can we wirelessly charge our Soundpeats headphones? Yes. Soundpeats headphones, H1s, wirelessly charge. For those of you keeping score, the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SEs, no wireless charging. Score one for the H1s over the SE3s. It's a better looking bud anyway, isn't it? I mean, it's a gorgeous looking bud as far as I'm concerned. The case is mostly the same. We're gonna get into that in a little bit more detail Soon enough, folks, soon enough. Hold on, it is a coming. Okay. We're gonna have to reach, I don't know, we're gonna have to turn that on again. It's very aggressively turning itself off if nothing's going on. Okay, now it's on 65. And let's just see what we got here. Now here, okay, well, you know what? How much further do we need to go? I can see that this is charging. I have the full charge indication there. I think we're in pretty good shape. I'm, that's not gonna charge fast or anything because this is only 18 watts PD delivery. You'll notice I'm not using the Microsoft Surface cable. I know for a fact that charging via a PD cable is gonna be quicker and uh, give you the power that you need in order to charge this. If you use the surface cable, I don't think that this would actually work. But heck, who wants to charge this via a surface cable if you don't need to carry one around? You just use a PD cable for everything and you're golden. So I'm really, I'm really pretty, I'm pretty psyched with the 20,000 volt model. I like having that extra capability to turn it into low current mode, but both of these uh, would be great for wirelessly charging your phone. They are both great for wirelessly charging your Soundpeats earbuds or any earbuds. They're both great for charging earbuds or phones via a cable. The 10,000 volt model, the 10,000 volt model would kill you. The 10,000 milliamp, milliamp hour uh, model will not charge a laptop, at least not a Surface Pro 3. The 20,000 milliamp model will charge a Surface Pro 3. I guarantee you that this is a very slow charge. If I could log in here. That didn't take long for it to say that it would charge this in two hours and 15 minutes. I mean, it's not fast. There's no doubt about that, but at least I'm charging. In any case, it's gonna extend your battery life quite, quite, quite considerably. And this would be the device that I would recommend getting way ahead of the 10,000 milliamp version. Keeping it simple, folks, that is a really quick rundown of the Aoki Pro Basics Pro Series 20,000 milliamp and 10,000 milliamp wireless charging power banks. And once again, my recommendation, skip the 10,000, go straight to the 20,000. You get the dedicated low current charging mode if you just hold this button for four seconds. That is excellent, that'll turn off after two hours. And this is the model that I highly recommend you get for business travel. Uh, I bought this with my own money and uh, this is the one that I would keep. This is the one I would return. 
actually, I mean, I have plenty of opportunity to use a wireless charger in my house. I'll just throw this by the TV stand, you know, by the couch next to the remote controls and just charge my devices while I'm over there because it's pretty convenient and uh, I always need extra power, especially in the Sozen gadget review world. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I get better at doing, you know, these quick gadget reviews, but I appreciate your patience while I figure it all out. Stay safe, everyone.